Ciao, everyone. This is Esther. Alfred here. Happy New Year. Hope you guys are doing great. Alfred Ching Ching, here's to 2022 and Arrivederci 2021. <laughs> you want to know something? Every day that you're alive is better than the alternative. So say what you want about 2021. If you're watching this program and you're alive, you, you still ought to thank the good Lord for all the goodness he's bestowed on you, in my opinion. Beautifully that's said, just, Alfred. That's just my opinion, you know. I, all right. We have great yeah. video coming up of Caltagirone and those beautiful steps and nativity scenes and also the scene in Ortigia. And we show you a little bit of pasta and calamari a little bit later. But first, chin chin. How many times do we get a ching ching? We'll do it again. We got okay. a ching ching. And we're not ching even ching drinking to alcohol you. today. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're not even drinking alcohol with ching ching on all day long. Ching 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 ching. <laughs> Here we go, you guys. All right, we're gonna start out with a little show and tell. Oh, Our okay. neighbor Francesco yesterday came over with this big box of cold cuts. I and think meat. he thinks we're poor. First of all, check out this prosciutto cotto. Do you guys like this stuff? Al, do you like prosciutto cotto? The prosciutto cotto, no. No, that's, this is crudo. That, that's prosciutto crudo, which means it's raw, raw. okay? Prosciutto and, crudo. And, and, and this is from the Palma area. He sent us a bunch of goodies from way up north, okay? Now, you either like prosciutto cro, uh, crudo. crudo or you don't like it, okay? I don't usually throw that in my sandwich. I use the prosciutto cotto because it tastes more like a ham sandwich in the States. But people love that. I guess that's one of the things. See that chunk right there? That's probably around 20 bucks, all right? Right off the get-go. It's, no, it's almost a pound. It's almost a pound. So maybe Excuse it's about me, a pound 15 and a half. euro. It's about pound, pound and, and a half? half. About pound 18 half. euro. The second item that he, he, he got for us... Mortadella. Okay. Again, mortadella, right? a good chunk of it. That's about a half a kilo, maybe. How much? Uh, one, yeah, half a kilo. So you know, pounds. it looks like that stuff looks like it's all fat, but it's really not fat. It's for taste. It's for taste. Okay, it's very, very good. This one over this here one has, has got pistachios. has pistachios in it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Which yum, one yum. do you like? I like the one with the pistachios. Pistachio. Let's okay. see what else do we have here. Then look at this chunk of salami. We have a wonderful salami. Let's Hold it up one more time. Wait a sec. Where's this from? Salami. It's from up there. This is all from up there. Very nice. And this one is also about a pound. And what you do nice. with this is that, watch this, now, watch this. You slice it up and you put it on crackers. <laughs> <laughs> we had a big, a big discussion about serving crackers to our guest. She thought it was so ghetto that we were, I suggested to her that she put something on crackers. Now, bread, what do you think about toasted crackers? Bread. I said, to, well, we have the, you know, the saltine crackers. I don't want to serve saltine crackers. If we're going to serve crackers, let's serve the high-end crackers. Or what I did was I cut up little pieces of bread and toasted them with olive oil and came out great. Oh, and I put a little bit of oregano on them. I used to just use the things that you buy at the market. I you can't like even... saltines. I hate salt things. What are the other ones that I like? They have the little There's rice a few. on them. Now, this is a big piece of Parmigiano from where? San Gregorio. Okay. this is That's the brand. It's from Parma. Okay. Parma. Now, here's a note about when you buy your Parmesan cheese. First of all, it has to be stamped imported. Okay? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a DOC. It's a protected region. That's number one. And typically, there are three different aging processes that it goes to. One is stamped 12 months, mm -hmm. the other one is stamped 18, 18 months, and then the other one is stamped 24 20. months, okay? twelve. So obviously, the younger the cheese is, the, the price goes down, uh, is cheaper than the more expensive stuff. That one over there looks like it's about aged 18 months. But here's the point. Francesco gives us this stuff all the time time and what we do whether it's oranges or lemons or cake or sweets or a panettone so a very generous, i know stefani is listening to us today we're going to give you one of those we're going to give no we're going to give her two things we're going to give her this here all right because she's having a party new year's eve and also i want to give her this the one. prosciutto cotto. Cotto. bring that she's going to a party in san gregorio so, Stefania, come by here, pick up that stuff, 
And then the rest of the stuff, you know, we'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so we are uh, talking about eating. We had some great meals with our group. Take a look at this meal we had in downtown Catania. Oh, take a look at that pasta, Norma. People are clapping, taking photos. You know it's gonna be good. I'm eating. Wait, you're taking my hands. Oh, look what's coming here. Grilled calamari. So glad we did this Mmm, bueno. Mm -hmm. And here we go with the pasta alla norma. Grazie mille. Uh, there's some arm wrestling going on here. So what did you think of the pasta alla norma I brought you home? Uh, the pasta alla norma, she brought me a leftover. She brought me like a, a doggy bag because I, in, do you know that there's no such thing as, as doggy bags in Sicily? If you say it's for your dog, they got to look at you like, yeah, right, you. <laughs> I mean, they'll give you some bones, right? But there's, no but there's no doggy bags like there is in the United States. So she had a portion of that meal uh, made for me because I didn't attend that wow. dinner. With the that, ricotta salata. With the ricotta salata on top. And I'm telling you one thing, the pasta was good. The sauce is terrific. They, had, yeah. they do it. It's all about how you prepare that yeah. meal. And pasta okay? norma, for those of you who don't know, you just put... Um, eggplant on top of it. You can either fry it or some places they cook the sauce with it too. But the important part is the ricotta salata yeah. on top. Ricotta salata is salted ricotta, so it's not that soft one. It's a little bit salty and it, it tastes almost like snowflakes in your mouth. Melts I'm in not your that mouth. hard about <laughs> I'm, I'm one of the few Sicilians that really prefers Parmesan on that mm -hmm. on that particular meal. But she she had it done. It was, it's okay. It's salty. For me, it's a little bit salty, all right? Yeah. It's but good. it's still great pasta. I wish she would have brought me home the, um, what else did you have there? We had the calamari. The calamari. calamari. And that's another thing that's a very tricky thing uh, to, to cook. Make. Okay, I mean, obviously anybody can do it, you know, fried calamari, that's one meal, but this over here was, uh, grilled. Is, is grilled, okay, and you really have to take that thing off the grill in the nick of time, or, or else, else it turns out rubbery. to be a piece of rubber in your mouth, so these guys know how to cook it, and then they put a nice little thing on top of it, that's a combination of uh, extra virgin olive oil, lemon, lemon juice, and, and parsley, and parsley, right? Yeah. It's okay. a great, it's a terrific meal. It's a terrific meal. All right. The other thing we did was go to Caltagirone in the province of Catania. You may know of Caltagirone as one of the ceramic cities here in Sicily. And there's the famous uh, 142 steps of Santa Maria del Monte. It was really, really clouded, crowded there. We were there on St. Stephen's Day. Uh, but people enjoyed it. Before you show the video, could I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, did... Good King Wenceslas come down the stairs on the Feast of Stephen. <laughs> Good, Good King Wenceslas come down on, on the, the Feast of Stephen. Stephen. No, he didn't. All right, take a look at this video. <laughs> look at these beautiful Christmas trees and up top all the Testa de Mori with the poinsettias. These type of scenes from Sicilian scenes are splattered all over the town as well. And straight ahead are the 142 steps of Santa Maria del Monte. But a great little atmosphere here today. We got uh, in the town the, when we said the nativity, but in this case, these are the statues. Um, the first tradition came from Naples, big, bigger or smaller. The Neapolitan ones are dressed up with this fancy fabric, velvet, or silk, etc. In Cartagena, we adopted the tradition of the Neapolitans, they're very precious. So, we say the nativities of Cartagena as a competitor of those of the Neapolitans. Thank <laughs> you.
And here are the famous 142 steps of Santa Maria del Monte, packed here today. Beautiful nativity scenes up there too. There's more people here today than in Carmina the other day. Now, in one of the clips, you may have seen our guide, Juicy, who was explaining to you about the nativity scenes. Um, she was really, really great. It's interesting, the people of Cartagione, Alfred, came from Jella, believe it or not. Probably. That makes sense to me. And there's a beautiful view of over by the Jella side and also the plains of Catania. That's a great, great city to visit. The other place we went to was Ortigia. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. I want to talk yeah. a couple more seconds about Cartagione. Cartagione, as she said, is uh, one of the three major ceramic, maybe four, one of the four major ceramic uh, areas in Sicily. And those guys, uh, the, if you walk up those stairs, there are shops on both sides of those stairs. Mm -hmm. Literally, they open up and you go into, uh, into the shops. And it's all about the colors. The different colors of the ceramic by the different region donates it pretty much you can yeah. tell you know how it's coming and if you're gonna buy ceramic when you come to Sicily make sure you flip it over and make sure it says it's signed and the says origin the the is identified okay I mean that's I think it's important that some of that stuff is expensive and very interestingly enough they ship but watch out on the shipping right now because the shipping costs are just through going the roof. through the through the roof. roof. Through the roof. That's so what I wanted to say. That was, but it, there are other shops also at the bottom if you want to yes. go mm -hmm. in. Uh, we actually met the mayor of okay. Caltagirone. Yeah, Juicy knew him, so we met the mayor. We had a nice picture with him and Bob and Breezy. That's a good uh, that uh, the guy that we have there is profoundly knowledgeable oh, about great. about that area over there and some of the nativity scenes are free. If you come next year, some of them they charge right. Yeah, There's but you can do is buy fee. a packet so you can visit all of them or individually go in and ranges from one euro to two euro. So. It's Why well not? worth it. All heck? right. The other place we went to is, of course, Ortigia with the group. And what a, what a beautiful Christmas scene there is there. Check it out. Ciao from Ortigia in the province of Siracusa. Look at this beautiful Christmas tree, Christmas reindeer right in the middle of the Piazza Duomo. There's the cathedral right behind it. This is perhaps one of my favorite, if not my favorite, piazzas in all of Sicily and Italy. I'm going to show you a 360 view of this beautiful piazza. Straight ahead is the Baia of Lucia. Normally the painting of Caravaggio is inside, but now they moved it. Beautiful sunny December day here in Siracusa, about 60 degrees. Straight ahead is the European Union, the Italian, and the Sicilian flag. And here we are, back at the Duomo. A lot of families walking around, enjoying themselves. A few tourists as well. But there you go. A peek at Ortigia. Siracusa is just such a great, great town to visit. It's really one of the big treasures here in Sicily, of course, at one point, one of the most important cities in Magna Grecia, greater Greece, and of course, home to Archimedes, the famous mathematician and genius. Did they move the uh, picture of Santa Lucia out from that little church by the Yes, they moved the it Duomo? to another, another one. Where? 
Do you have they, any idea? They moved it to another church. And I another can't town? Another church. Another in, church. In Setacusa? But here's a little tidbit uh, that know. I want to tell you. I can't you remember the name. Okay. But here's a little tidbit I want to tell you guys that Setacusa was once a major area for the Jewish people here in Sicily. And because of the Spanish Inquisition, a lot of them were either forced to convert or to flee. Most of them chose to flee or even hide um, in Sicily. But the interesting thing is that there are known areas where there were synagogues, but the bishop still wants it considered a church and will not open it up to the public. And there's a push by some of the guides and some of the local leaders to open up the synagogues uh, to the public because they truly have a treasure. And in fact, inside the synagogue, there is a sign uh, excuse me, inside the church that was once a synagogue, there is a sign that says, in fact, that this was a Jewish synagogue. And, and some of the bishops want to keep that hidden from the people. It's just a beautiful Wonderful. December day. How lucky we have been with this weather. It's quite remarkable. All right, Alfred. I have a, I have a shirt on today. It's 65 degrees. You know, it's pretty remarkable. It's the nicest weather uh, that they, uh, we've had for a while. It's been it, like I said, in November was rainy, cold. The beginning of December was cold. Finally, about two weeks ago, it started to warm up a little bit. The sun's been out every day this week. and it just, it's intoxicating to have the Christmas season here. Uh, yeah. Are we going to do a Christmas We're tour? We're going to have a Christmas tour. And I just want to say, you know, a few people have messaged me. They want to come here uh, during this period, but we're a little bit doubtful because of the situation. And um, I have friends up in Rome who reported not many tourists, as we have seen here in Sicily, not many tourists as well. So you basically have a lot of these cities to yourself. We went to Tarmina. It wasn't busy at all. So it was very, very nice. And the weather is holding up perfectly. So not as many decorations and not as festive as in prior years, but still a beautiful place to stay. You so know, we are having our Christmas tour. We are going to have the Christmas tour next year. And we're going to have other tours that we'll get into in just a minute. But let me just say this, okay? Italy has done a remarkable job maintaining its composure during this latest crisis of whatever the heck it's called, mm -hmm. this imitation COVID thing. I say imitation because there aren't bodies laying all over the place like there was in March of the first year. Yeah. That was bad, okay? Uh, the numbers here are not grotesquely disproportionate. Okay. To the well, test, yeah. It, it's not, okay? And there uh however and that said, the government is still twisting the throat of the unvaccinated, okay? There fines, the the police are going around. There are now sure. four hour waits in the big centers to get their blood work done because if you know if you're unvaccinated um, you have to have a blood test every few days, okay? So now it's to this point where you, it just, it's just, you the know. The hub has to close down. Actually, the hub in Palermo only will give people who have made an appointment to get their vaccine because they're finding so many people are going to go get tested that they're seeing four or five hour lines. So that's we, crazy. Listen, I, I could read these so people So of course good, you're going to have right? more <laughs> people testing positive. What, listen, the tourist business is so important, okay? They pull the same stunt right before... Uh, the busy sea season in June and July, they scared the hell out of everybody. They made red zones and orange zones and all this other stuff to get the numbers to acceptable levels so people would come, knowing full, full well that after they left, because it was millions of people here, the numbers would go up. So then the numbers went up right after they left, but then they, they tamp it down again to acceptable levels. And then it goes up again, and then it goes down again. So, you know, that's how it is in the business. Uh, I know that they have a new type of uh, mask now that is being required. That in cinemas, in theaters. PP13, PP13 mask available. FF. FF. FF, excuse me. FF13 mask available now everywhere. And again, I was like, well, wait a minute. How can it be available everywhere? So in other words, this whole thing was kind of like, was it orchestrated? I don't know. But here's what I do know. The numbers are, are pretty acceptable in comparing it to the United States. That's just uh, that's, that's what I, sure. that's that's I want to sure. say. All right. I want to show you guys this poem over here that our friend 
Bob, the commissioner of the New Jersey Italian Cultural Heritage Commission, gave us a poem by Angelo Bianchi. He's an esquire, he's an attorney, and this apparently is read in a lot of uh, Italian groups in the United States. And the title is, I am an Italian American. I'm going to read you a little bit, as you can see, it's pretty long. I am an Italian American. My roots are deep in an ancient soil, drenched by Mediterranean sun and watered by pure streams from snow-capped mountains. I am enriched by thousands of years of culture. My hands are those of the mason, the artist, the man of the soil. My thoughts have been recorded in the annals of Rome, the poetry of Vigil, the creation of Dante, and the philosophy of Ben... Benedetto Croce. I am an Italian American and from my ancient world I first spanned the seas to the new world. I am Cristoforo Colombo. I am Giovanni Caboto, known in American history as John Cabot, discoverer of the mainland of North America. A couple more lines. I am Amerigo Vespucci, who gave my name to the New World America. First to soil on the Great Lakes in 1679, founder of territory that became the state of Illinois. And it goes on and on and Can on I read a with lines? a lot of famous. Yeah, why don't I want to read a couple lines of this too, okay? I am Filippo. I'm just going to read a couple of my favorite lines here, if you don't mind. I am William Paca, signer of the Declaration of Independence. I'm an Italian-American. I financed the Northwest Expedition of George Rogers Clark and accompanied him to the lands which became later became Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Michigan. I mapped the I am Giacomo Beltrami, discoverer of the source of the Mississippi River. I'm the, I created the dome of the capital of the United States. They called me the Michelangelo of America. I am Constantino Brumi. In 1904, I founded the, in San Francisco the Bank of Italy, now known as the Bank of America. I am Enrico Fermi, father of nuclear science in America. Here, you read a couple and more. It, I think it's worth reading a few more. Yeah. First enlisted man to win the Medal of Honor in World War II. I am John Basilion of New Jersey. He was a real hero. I am an American Italian. I am the million strong who served in America's armies and the tens of thousands whose names are enriched in military cemeteries from Guadalcanal to the Rhine. I am the steel maker in Pittsburgh, the grower in the Imperial Valley of California, the textile designer in Manhattan, the movie maker in Hollywood, the homemaker and the breadwinner in 10,000 communities. I am an American without scent or reservation, loving this land as only one who understood history, its agonies and its triumphs can love it and serve it. I will not be told that my contribution is any less, nor my role not as worthy as that of any other American. I will stand in support of this nation's freedom and promise against all foes. My heritage has dedicated me to this nation. And finally, I am, a proud, I am proud of my full heritage and I shall remain worthy I am an American Italian. How beautiful is that? If anyone wants a copy of this, let me know. I'll take a picture, send it to you. And I am a Sicilian American, <laughs> which every Italian American aspires to be. <laughs> no, that's just a joke. That's just a joke. And I am a Hungarian American with lots of Sicilian uh, in me. <laughs> Bob, Bobby DeBasio, thank Great. you so much for that. We're going to have it framed. For sure. Uh, I think it's a wonderful testament to uh, all the Italian Americans uh, in si, the United si. States and, of course, our forefathers, those who came 
on the boats and stuff like that. Anyway, it's a great poem. It's a great poem. Thank you very much. Have a all right, poem. Alfred. Should we talk about our New Year's resolutions? Yes, we should. What's your, what's your resolution? We'll start with you for change today. All right. My top resolution is, of course, to continue to bring you top videos, pictures, stories, and all things about everyday life in Sicily. I want to know, what do you guys want to hear more for? On a personal side, my goal is to become an, a better grandfather to my grandkids, okay? I can't improve on being a good father for my kids because, well, how can you improve on perfection? No, that's just a joke. But I really want to get to be, my, my grandkids are getting to the age now, 14, 15, 16, mm -hmm that I want to spend a little bit more time with them. And on that basis, I'm going to spend the whole month, I hope, if God wants and permits me, in August to go home when it's nice weather so I can watch the kids play baseball and soccer and hang out with them at the beach, stuff like that. So 2022 is going to be a year for me to put my grandkids front and center. That's, that's, right. my, that's my, my resolution. My <laughs> watch this, you guys. My personal goal is to be less bossy. Less what? Bossy. Less bossy. <laughs> really? I'm that, gonna try to be less bossy. It's not that it's not that Esther's bossy. It's just not that she's bossy. <laughs> is that what you wanted me to say, honey? <laughs> no, you know what? All right, she, now you wait have your minute. business to defend thing. Esther, okay? <laughs> I have to defend Esther, just a second. She runs the escorting and touring business in, with the clients face to face a lot more than I do I'm more of a behind the scene guy uh, I help her with everything Logistics. some stuff I'm in charge of but in terms of getting on a bus and going with the clients Esther's the one that does that I show up for dinners and you know I just we have fun and I have I want have fun but Esther has to shepherd people along and it's a very difficult thing to shepherd people along because some people want to do something, other people want to do other things. So when she says she's going to be less bossy, it's really not bossy in terms of cracking a whip. It's I guess she's trying to mean, what do you mean? In other words, be, be nicer. I guess be nicer so that everybody feels that she's not being bossy. Is there such a, can you do that? I'm oh, not sure that that can be hole. done in this business. You're, you're digging a hole. You're digging a hole. All right. What's your business goal? My business goal. Well, I think we're having a we're having a May tour. You are having a May for tour. For sure. Okay. And it's around uh, Infiorata in Noto. So, of so, course, so far, be So far, that hasn't been canceled. Okay. No. What has been canceled, from what I'm hearing, is the uh, Carnivale in Ashley Wright Reale. Yesterday, Professor Rosario Ferracci, mm -hmm. we had a lovely uh, meeting with him and uh, Bob Babasio and, and Breezy, Breezy, his wife, Roberta, his wife, uh, regarding bringing uh, some students from John Cabot University down here in May. And to meet the Archbishop in Archidiale, the and Mayor the of Archidiale, blah, 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 and all this other stuff. We're going to fit, we're going to so videotape it. So he informed us that it was canceled. So, in, in, you know, and Rosario, he knows everything about everything, what's going on in Sicily, and he says it looks like it's going to be canceled. So for those of you planning on coming here for the Carnivale, just double check. It hasn't been officially announced yet, has it? Yeah. It has been? Well, he knows. Yeah. Well, so far, the Infurata, however, has not been canceled. That's and I May. do not think that that will be canceled. I think that by the time May comes, uh, the, the tourist season will be here. Yeah. There will be a higher percentage of vaccinations. And by the way, uh, the vax numbers are improving. The boosters are improving yeah. here. Uh, so anyway, so we're having a May tour. Then we're having on the East Coast. We're definitely Coast. having a June tour. And we're at, at, which on the one West the, Coast. Okay, question I have to ask you: yeah. Is the June tour sold out yet? No. Okay. Do we have any spaces left? We have spaces how left for May and also June. Okay. So I think it's May 12 to 22, and then June. I have to check, but okay. it's on our website www.youmeatandsicily.com. What do we have? Only four left for June. Around there. Yeah, we yeah. only have a few left in June, May. But we're also May's available great... for private tours, right? Yep. Then we'll have private tours in September. We're not doing any touring in September with a group, 
other than Esther doing right. private tours. And then in October, are we doing we'll an October? Do, let's do another October We'll do tour. an October tour for next 2022, and then we're going to do also our Christmas tour. So basically, we have four tours for you to choose from. Uh, first come, first serve, typically between 10 and 14 max. people is the maximum we take. It's a private stuff. We have great restaurants. We've been bringing people to our house and bring in our great cooks. friends who are chefs, uh, cooks, cooks rather, over here. It's far more relaxing. Yeah, you know Set what? in a beautiful environment here. You're not rushed. You're not rubbing elbows either with people, you know. In case you forgot this view that we have. And the good thing is now it's going to stay lighter a little bit longer so we can enjoy this view a little bit longer, Alfred. Yes, I mean, basically, I just, that was a decision that I kind of, you know, I don't want to say pushed on Esther, but I, I just thought that for safety reasons, just generally speaking. You didn't push it on me because yeah. you know I love hosting, so yeah, it was a very does. natural thing. One thing, though, anyway, I did want me... to say, one last thing, E, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, we made a conscious decision that the our guests have to be vaccinated, Period. Okay. Well, you it, can't enter Italy. No, without but being I'm vaccinated. just saying that the double vax and the booster. We, I want to require it, and I'm I'm not doing it for the client's sake. To be frank about it, I'm doing it for my st my sake. You know, I have, I have two stents in my in my heart. I don't want to take a chance of anything. I still want to live a few more years because my credit card balances are still high. <laughs> So, I mean, I think most of the other tour operators are, uh, are doing it that way. But, yes, but sure. you know, that's how hey, we're doing it. I want to know what you guys are doing for New Year's Eve. And if you have any <clears throat> New Year's resolutions, let me know in the comments below. All right. See this box right here? It's a Panettone box. Isn't it beautiful? This is the classic one. Holy it has top, a yeah. pistachio filling. There you go. We've got a bunch of these. Uh, over the holiday, and that's a classic panettone with the pistachio, but I want to show you guys this other panettone that we got from our friend Stefania. Let's see if we can see the paper. It's three quarters eaten, and, and, a, people and our friends love it. Licking in their fingers, and it has a, what kind of a little bit of mandarin, a lemony mandarin, mandarin cream. cream. And it's very soft. It's like fresh, Flake. okay? Soft. Very particular uh Panettone made in Adrano, Adrano, which is the old in the old Triangula di Morte, uh, up by Paterno, Mr. Bianco, etc. And her, her and her husband make a special That's trip that. up there uh, every, every year, year to get, to get those. It. But this is not a cl a typical. This is very unusual. It type. is just. It's the best one I've had. And this year, you know, we didn't buy any junk ones that they sell in the markets. Yeah. Okay. We we got a real good one that. One that cost a lot of money from our friend Maria. That was a great one, the yeah. pistachio one. We got this one over here, where, which I think is number and the one. Other, I think and the Stefani other pistachio is, one. And then we have another pistachio one. We have pistachio here and another one that we haven't even opened. So we have plenty of And I'm going to start my intermittent dieting again. <laughs> Uh, believe me, right after love, the fist of La Pafana, but I've been very, very, very careful about how much I'm eating of this stuff. That's it's for sure. It's good. It's really good. Now, if any of you guys have a New Year's resolution to improve your Italian or maybe have more of a conversation or maybe you know someone, email me because we still have those Italian conversation classes available on YouTube. They're private links. I send you PDF and... Uh, there you go. You can access this as many times as you want, and they come in packets of packets of six. So, if you're interested, message me. On that note, Alfred. You know, I'm just thinking about our wonderful viewers who mm. support us. We thank you, as usual. I'm hoping that you have a healthy, prosperous, and loving 2022 and from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of Esther's heart I wish you a guri buon anno happy and here's new year how do you say it in, how do you say it in, in Hungarian God bless you all ciao thank you for watching ciao
St. Stephen's Day and look at all the people out and about in Catania here at the Christmas market. It is really good to see all the families out, people enjoying themselves. Oh, take a look at that pasta la norma. Yay! People are clapping, Clap. taking photos. <laughs> you know it's gonna be good. I'm eating. Wait, Give you're me taking food. my Can hand. Oh, look what's coming here. Grilled calamari. So glad we get this Mmm, bueno. Mm. And here we go with the pasta alla norma. Grazie mille. Uh, some arm wrestling going on here.